Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. Two smooth spherical non-conducting shells, each of radius capital R, having uniformly distributed charge plus Q and minus Q on the surfaces are released on a smooth non-conducting surface when the distance between their centers is 10R. The mass of A is small m and that of B is 2m. The speed of A just before A and B collide is. Here neglect gravitational interactions. <clears throat> and given four options, option A root 2k q square by 15 mr, option B root 4k q square upon 15 mr, option C root 8k q square upon 15 mr, option D root 16k q square upon 15 mr. To solve this question, we have using two concepts. First concept, laws of conservation of energy and second concept, laws of conservation of linear momentum. Here, before releasing, its potential energy is k q and minus q and the distance is 10 r and that is releasing then its velocity, kinetic energy, velocity is V1 consider and uh, sphere B, its velocity is consider V2. Here, the kinetic energy become 1 by 2 m V1 square 1 by 2 and mass of this sphere B is 2 m and velocity is V2 square and when they stick together, then potential energy is become K here q and minus q and the distance this r and this r become 2r okay so here k q square minus and 10 r is equal to 1 by 2 m v1 square 1 by 2 2 m v2 square minus k q square upon 2r let's see this equation is first okay now for the linear momentum for the first sphere that is m, velocity is v1 and the before striking, so here the mass is 2m, velocity is v2 and after they are stick together, then the total mass is m and 2m and velocity is 0. Okay, so therefore mv1 is equal to minus 2mv2, m, m cancel out then V2 can be written as minus V1 upon 2. Okay. Now, this value is substitute in equation number first. So, now minus K Q square upon 10 R half M V1 square here plus 1 by 2, 2 M and the velocity of V2 in bracket minus v1 by 2 whole square minus k q square upon 2r. Now minus k q square upon 10r 1 by 2 m v1 square 2 to cancel out m v1 square by 4 minus k q square upon 2r. This value is transposing to the left side become k q square upon 2r minus k q square upon 10r is equal to taking the LCM 4 2m v1 square m v1 square. <coughs> now taking the LCM 10r. 2 5 are 10, so 5 kq square minus 
की क्यू स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू थ्री एम वी वन स्क्वेर अपॉन फोर हियर फाइव माइनस वन फोर के क्यू स्क्वेर अपॉन टेन आर इज इक्वल टू थ्री एम वी वन स्क्वेर अपॉन फोर हियर वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट वी वन ओके सो हियर टू टू जो फोर टू फाइव जो टेन Then four to the eight k q square and five to the fifteen m is also transposing here and goes in denominator m r that is v one square. So v one can be written as h k q square upon fifteen m r. Okay, so this is the answer. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel. That can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye bye.